The premise of Vladimir Johansson's lamb is no doubt intriguing. In rural Iceland, a childless farming couple adopts a newborn baby lamb with a strange anatomy, name her Ada, and raise her as if she were a fully human child. The director clearly recognizes the inherent ridiculousness of this story, but he takes a straight-faced, tender approach to his characters, crafting an uncanny, modern folktale that's as thoughtfully considered as it is wildly absurd. The first thing that stands out about Lamb is the eerie way the camera moves through space. Fog envelops the cozy farm home of Numi Rapace's Maria and Hilmir Snergudnason's Ingvar, making it hard to tell exactly how near or far a given subject is. Even simple, medium shots of people walking through nature turn into something unreal, and this relationship between the natural and the unnatural constantly takes center stage. Maria and Ingvar's daily routine should feel comfortable and harmonious. However, something intangible and dark lingers. Harsh, rumbling noises at night draw their animals' attention, and the couple's interactions seem stilted and weighed down. There's no doubt about it, something is amiss. Lamb eventually tells us what's lurking in the night and what troubles Maria and Ingvar, but in the meantime, it lets these questions linger, especially when one of their ewes gives birth to a peculiar lamb, with whom the couple is immediately enamored. Her anatomy is kept from us for a significant amount of time, leading to more looming questions about why exactly Maria and Ingvar are so quickly taken by her. However, the camera often ascribes human traits to the child and a human perspective, even when her body is obscured. It's as if the movie's actively working to transform her from an animal to a fully-fledged human being in our hearts foremost before presenting the idea to our eyes. When we do eventually get a good look at Ada, instead of offering an explanation for what she is, we're simply presented with Maria and Ingvar's reactions to her unconventional birth. Lamb allows the sudden, complicated spark of brightness on their faces and their unspoken mutual understanding to tell part of their story. While the film takes its time before tipping its hand, it offers plenty of emotional clues as to the melancholy place Ada occupies in the couple's lives. Their child's shape is less important than the shape of the hole they're trying to fill. Rapace and Gudnason throw themselves heart first into the role of dedicated parents. Their love for Ada is real and eventually becomes unquestionable, both because of their glowing adoration for her and because of the links they're willing to go to in order to protect her. The only other human character in Lamb is Ingvar's vagabond brother, who isn't quite as comfortable with his strange new niece. The film's approach to stepping outside the couple's perspective is hilariously tongue-in-cheek, and their dog and cat also often become the subjects of curious reaction shots. They too seem aware that the family's harmony is something unnatural or supernatural, but Maria and Ingvar are too caught up in their blissful and perhaps intentional ignorance to recognize their judgment. But while we're initially given an outsider's view into the family, their domestic bliss eventually becomes alluring. Enough that when it's threatened, the idea of Ada being a natural part of Maria and Ingvar's lives no longer feels quite so unusual. Dare to give up. An intriguing slow burn that feels unsettling and comfortable in equal measure, Lamb takes a roundabout approach to revealing its bittersweet story of a farming couple who adopts a unique animal child. It's an undeniably absurdist take on parenthood, but also one that's truly sympathetic and strangely convincing. For more, check out our reviews of Dune and The Green Knight. And for everything else, stick with IGN.